Today we're going to talk about how to clean your bathroom naturally with homemade DIY affordable cleaners. So hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah McFall of MyMaryMessyLife.com and also author of the book Detox Your Home, which you can find on Amazon, and it includes more than 80 DIY recipes to help you go non-toxic and natural in your home and your cleaning. Laundry, bath, body, and beauty products. And today, we're gonna to talk about three or four of my cleaners and how you can use them to clean your bathroom naturally. So I thought I would just take you on a little bathroom cleaning time with me. Um, I haven't cleaned my bathroom for the week yet, and I wanted to make sure I got that done. And I wanted to show you the different cleaners that I use in each different part Part of my bathroom okay so obviously you guys probably already know how to clean your bathroom so I'm not gonna get into how to clean your bathroom but I'm just gonna show you the products that I have already shared with you here on the channel and on my blog they're gonna be all linked up here in the left hand corner so that when I get to the product you could click over and see the full recipe for that video so let's get started so the cleaner I'm going to use the most in my whole bathroom is this all-purpose cleaner and it has baking soda castile soap hydrogen peroxide water and your choice of essential oils and again the recipe is gonna be linked up here and in the description box below you can go to the blog post so I would use this I would spray this on the toilet seats the bathroom countertop I can clean my bathtub with this and my shower with this so it really is an all-purpose cleaner and gets it all done it has a little bit of sudsing action because of the castile soap which I really like and it smells lovely I used lavender castile soap in this recipe so it smells really good and just a little side note these are like a couple bucks these sponges at the grocery stores here in the US and they're scotch ones and they have a rough side and a smooth side I use this to scrub out the sinks and the bathtub and this side to wipe down everything else. And then when I'm done with this, I put it in the dishwasher on the top rack. I have three racks in my dishwasher and there's a top rack where you can put things like straws and you know sippy cup things and bottle parts and other little items. And I put my sponges up there. So every time I use it, I wash it to make sure it stays clean and they last a long time when I do that. The other product I use in my bathroom is this baking soda scouring scrub. All it is is baking soda and essential oils linked up here for you again. I sprinkle this in my bathtub to get out soap scum in my shower, to get out soap scum and mold and mildew and all that kind of stuff. It acts as a really gentle scouring scrub. <laughs> you can also put it in your toilet bowl. If you wanna use your all-purpose cleaner and this in your toilet bowl, that would work really well. Another product I use in my bathroom is a glass cleaner. Obviously, there's a lot of mirrors and glass in bathrooms, so you're gonna to wanna to use a glass cleaner. Now, I actually don't use this very much anymore because I found this cool glass polishing cloth that I got off Amazon, and I'll have it linked in the description box below. But all you gotta do is wet this down with water, and then you wipe your windows and mirrors with this. You don't need any cleaner at all. And then when you're done, you just throw it in the wash. And it's not very dirty, so I just put it in with my clothes. And it usually goes through the dryer as well. I've never had any problems with it going through the dryer. So I highly recommend getting a glass polishing cloth. It's also super eco-friendly because you never have to use paper towels to wipe down all of your glass surfaces. So you're gonna save a lot of money and trees by using this. So the last homemade cleaner I'm gonna show you is this toilet bowl cleaner. Again, you could use the all-purpose cleaner and baking soda to get the same effect as this toilet bowl cleaner, but this does make it easier sometimes. And I really like the way this smells because I add a lot of essential oils to it, and I also add more soap to it, more Castile soap. So it's more bubbly and sudsy than the all-purpose cleaner. I don't want a lot of bubbles and suds on my countertop and my toilet because then it's really hard to get all of the suds off. So I put more soap into here because obviously the soap just washes down the toilet so you don't have to worry about how much soap you're using. So I really like my toilet bowl cleaner. It smells really good, and I have one at every toilet in the house, and I just squirt. Using the Fly Lady cleaning method, I do a swish and swipe in my toilet bowls as often as I can, as often as I feel like it, which is generally two to three times a week, and it works really well for me to keep the toilets consistently clean, smelling nice, and looking good. Last thing I wanna show you, and I showed you this in my zone cleaning video where I clean the bathrooms with the Fly Lady system, but this is my scrubbing, my magic scrubbing brush. It's magical. And yeah, you just stick it in your shower. Isn't that cool? 
and it scrubs your shower for you. It makes it so much easier to clean your shower. And so this is what I use now because I don't want to scrub so hard anymore. So if you want the easy method, get yourself one of these doodads. And I'll have it linked in the description box below. So that's it everybody. I hope that you found this video to be helpful. And if you did, would you please give it a big thumbs up? Also make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you're not already. And leave me a comment below. What do you think about these natural cleaning recipes? Would you like to try them? Most of them just use Castile soap, baking soda, water, essential oils. Some of them use Dr. Bonner's salsas, which is a natural dish soap. They're very cheap. They're very easy. And you can get the ingredients at almost every grocery store in the world. Vinegar and baking soda are readily available and very affordable. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye guys.